you are welcome to the Messiah channel we are an end time channel we are looking at events going on in the world and we are letting you about the prophecies of the end times and in this video we are looking at the Antichrist, the prophecies about the Antichrist in the context of where artificial intelligence is going, in the context of the pride culture, where the pride culture is going, taking the world. Does it mean anything? Are they related to the prophecies about the Antichrist in the last days? The Antichrist will rely on technologies to be able to control human thinking, human behavior. The Antichrist will also rely on a culture that is anti-God, i.e. anti-Christ, a culture that mocks God, a culture that is a deviation from the Bible, a culture that is inconsistent with holiness, and so we are looking at the Antichrist in light of artificial intelligence. And let's start with artificial intelligence. Um, I read from an article and I understand that Elon Musk has a new tech company, XAI, and I believe it was um funded or registered on March 9th, 2023. And definitely the um, the company will promote AI artificial intelligence. I also watched a video where Elon Musk was speaking and he saw he said something that is very um I don't know whether to call it fearful but i would say it's very prophetic um, he said that ai artificial intelligence is more dangerous than nuclear weapons let me repeat elon musk um, he is saying that ai artificial intelligence is more dangerous than nuclear weapons and we believe that nuclear weapons are dangerous they have the capacity to destroy the world but elon musk is saying that no a time will come where ai artificial intelligence will be more dangerous than nuclear weapons and he's saying that um, ai has the ability to empower human beings for them to become super humans. Elon Musk is saying that a time will come when somebody with access to this AI, artificial intelligence, will be more powerful than the American president 30 years ago. Let me repeat that. Elon Musk is saying that with the advent of this new AI, artificial intelligence, an ordinary person in his room with access to that type of intelligence will be more powerful. More powerful than what the American president was 30 years ago, uh, most people 
we will say that the most powerful person in the world is an American president. If you ask the question, who is the most powerful uh, person in the world, most people will say is the American president. Elon Musk is saying that with the advent of artificial intelligence, the way it's going, um, human beings will be empowered you will become superhumans and they will be more powerful than the American president, um, more powerful than the power the American president had um, 30 years ago. Artificial intelligence, according to Elon Musk, uh, is going to out surpass human brains and so what will happen when machines computers quote unquote are more intelligent than human brains who is wiser we, we, we hear stories about the three wise men we hear stories about solomon being the wisest person um, in the world but now, with artificial intelligence, they are moving towards a time when the intelligence, the super intelligence of these machines would outpass, outperform human brains. And Elon Musk, as we are aware, is also um, experimenting on the use of chips in human brains and he's saying that we're heading towards a dangerous world where AI will be more dangerous than nuclear weapons and you can see that now nations uh, promoting AI and with AI they can do a lot of damage to humanity and I believe that the Antichrist will be able to use these technologies to be able to control human thinking, human behavior, human culture to be able to control the way we relate to God, to be able to change our faith in the world. Another thing that is happening is the pride culture. Every June, for the last several years, uh, people celebrate the pride month the pride culture and now we see indoctrination of children as young as five years and they are teaching them about the colors of the rainbow flag the lgbt uh, flag they are teaching teaching them about the colors and they are teaching them about genders. The Bible talks about two genders, male and female. Most scientific books talk about two genders, male and female, but now the pride culture is teaching children to accept the signs of more than two genders. In the, in, in, in the United States, there are over 20 genders. And you see that pride culture uh, moving from one nation to another the LGBTQ, the alphabet 
uh, culture, you can say that. Um, it began with the quest for tolerance. We are asking to be tolerated. And then there came a, a time when they were fighting to be accepted, acceptance. And then they moved to a time when they were fighting to have equality, equality before the war, uh, before the law. And they were making analogies between discrimination against racial minorities and discrimination against sexual minorities. And you can even see some black people talking about LGBT people of color. So they move from the quest for tolerance and then they move to the quest for acceptance, being accepted in society. And they fought battles to be treated equally. And so you see same-sex marriages uh, being legalized in some countries. The U.S. leading the crusade. And now they are moving towards dominance. A pride culture is trying to dominate the world. Uh, it have gone the other way. Um, some people were violent towards the LGBT community. And now the LGBT community is also being violent as they move towards domination. And in this context, you see the attempt by United States government to spread LGBT diplomacy uh, to other parts of the world. As you saw recently when the Vice President of United States went to Africa and talked about LGBT rights. And so these are the two things that we are talking about. That the Antichrist will use you know, as he prepares to come to the stage. The Antichrist will have a technology that is ready to go. Technology that can change the way people think. Technology that will make people feel they are superhumans, they are God in themselves because the technologies they have make them superhuman. As Elon Musk said, they will be more powerful than the power the American president had 30 um, years ago. The, the Antichrist will also come to a world that has already accepted a pride culture believing that the Lord loves everybody and it is okay to be a Christian and also to be a gay person. It's okay to marry from the same sex. It's okay to transition from one gender to another and it's okay to teach children about a pride not a pride in what the bible teaches but the pride in what human beings uh, teach 
and practice. Mocking God, having parades, and doing other things that are against the commandments of the Most High. Doing things that saw God unleashing his wrath on the people of Sodom and Gomorrah. But it tells you that we are moving closer to the book of Revelation, particularly chapter 13, that talks about the Antichrist who will be given power over all nations, all tribes, all tongues, all races, and they will not be able to buy or sell unless they have um, a mark. And participating in an accepted culture, um, practicing accepted culture, being used to particular technologies, technologies that will be able to control human beings. These are parts of the new order that will come when that the Antichrist comes in. And when Elon Musk says that the AI, the, the artificial intelligence, will be more dangerous than nuclear weapons, uh, it will fit the prophecies about the Antichrist who would unleash terror and tribulation unprecedented in the history of humankind. And so on this note, we urge you to be watchful and know where we are, that artificial intelligence is moving the world closer and closer to Armageddon, and Elon Musk is saying that it will be more dangerous than nuclear weapons. Um, he didn't go into details why AI will be more dangerous than nuclear weapons. But I believe that he knows something that most people don't know. After all, he's experimenting in putting chips in human brains. So he knows what is talking about. And we know what happened during the time of Sodom and Gomorrah. And so when we see children being indoctrinated about pride, flags, rainbow, and multiple sex genders, and transition, gender transitions and transformations, when you see all those things, you know that we are in the days that are perilous as predicted in the book of Timothy, as predicted in the book of Revelation. Accept the gospel and watch, repent and prepare yourself for judgment and for eternity. We don't have time at all. We are living in the days of the sounding of the final trumpet of heaven. Thank you for this message.